you welcome back to another episode of Grounded. This is my fifth time trying to record this intro because I kept getting interrupted by some orb weavers here and there. So we'll go ahead and collect those. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and collect these fellas over here too. But I got a smile on my face, not just because I finally managed to actually record this intro. And no, ladies and gentlemen, that smile is not because of the huge base that just in the last episode we managed to build over at the end of like this kind of like stump formation. Which by the way, if you guys want to check that out, make sure to go to that playlist at the top of the description. Go ahead and follow up with a lot of our shenanigans that we've been doing and more shenanigans to come. But I'm not sure if you boys and girls noticed the, the, the very new looking pond over here here with a whole bunch of items that I, I do not believe were here before and that's because ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are playing on the brand newly updated map we got our hands on a little bit early and if y'all direct your eyes to that upper left hand corner you can also see a brand new quest that we are in the midst of as well find your way to the depth of the pond so uh, there's something down there in the depths that we got to get to but uh ladies and gentlemen that might be a little bit on the difficult side due to the fact that well we can't exactly breathe for that long uh our oxygen is going on the low however there is something that we can actually do so over here in the crafting menu y'all can see exactly what we got to get done it is called the rebreather a mouthpiece formed out of reeds and other hydrophobic materials creates a thin air pocket that allows for longer underwater breathing yeah i'm gonna be needing a little bit of that so we got the springs and we got the plant fiber but we got to get our hands on lily pad wax and well, I'm seeing some lily pads out and about here, not to mention some brand new enemies like whatever incarnation our buddy over here is doing. So uh, this might be a prime opportunity for us to go and collect some brand new stuff as well. And dude, it's just crazy to see some of the stuff that has been actually being teased and has been found in the game files actually naturally occurring in the world. And there we have a water strider that is unfortunately not exactly sure what to do. So poo poo sucks to be you and he appears to be a little bit bound dead side. So go ahead and dive on in and oh we actually can harvest this lily bad membrane but it looks like there we go oh we got strider legs let's go i'll be taking that but it looks like we gotta harvest this lily pad membrane with some form of a knife luckily i think i oh what are those things over there hold up let's try and take down this uh, other water strider there collect some other stuff and there should there's gonna be a whole ton more like uh water animals and brand new enemies that we are gonna be able to check out here so for now i'll take him out uh, parkour our way over here and what are you up to my dude please give me my arrows back i would uh, definitely like those but i mean these are lily pads i imagine the membranes are gonna be how we get what we want what is this oh yeah more stuff we're gonna be able to harvest so this appears like it might be one of the secrets that we got a master. But I believe what we got to craft, ladies and gentlemen, actually comes in the form of the diving knife over here. Because that kind of looks like the icon we get. Like, it, it looks kind of knifey. You guys see that when we look at this membrane? So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that bad boy crafted it on up. Oh, I fell into a rock. Uh, and here we have it in our hands. Y'all can see the beauty of the diving knife. Let's go and put this thing to work over here on the lily pads. Make sure that y'all, if you have not already, are subscribed. What are those noises? That's terrifying. But if you lads and lassies have not yet, make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay in the loop with plenty more grounded coming your way. But for now, swan dive down into here and let's go and actually harvest up yes this is the tool that we need so it looks like killing those kind of like insects those striders that like to chill on the lily pads are going to be where your pond adventure kind of really begins and then from there oh we got the lily pad membranes coming our way and oof it is a sad lily pad now you can actually see it getting significantly messed up but it's not stopping us from attacking it so can we like actually completely destroy this lily pad i feel bad dude like this lily pad has definitely seen some better days but it appears to be staying in decent shape so I'll, i will have some mercy on the lily pad for now can i harvest like this flower or something that's what i want to know oh well, it's making a hitty noise but it is does not appear to be getting harvested and hopefully everyone out there is having an absolutely awesome day that does just keep on getting better from here on out because nothing brings a bigger smile to my face when i'm goofing around and recording some vids for y'all than knowing that hopefully some of my goofitude adventures or shenanigans might be able to crack a smile on someone's face regardless of how poopy of a day they might be having so hey hopefully i mean hopefully you're not having a poopy day but if you are hopefully i can help you get out of that funker something along those lines i don't know but okay here's the thing i think that these things over here 
are what we're looking for. But the problem is they make the clicky noise when we hit them. I've tried hitting them with like everything. I want to sound of Mississippi. It does not appear to be uh, working, son. Like, let me go ahead and actually use this axe too, just to showcase what I'm talking about is that this is, it does, it does not appear to be interested in getting broken apart so i think that there might be some sort of a glitch at the moment because with this kind of preview of the update it is still a work in progress because you can actually load into this world that is like has all of these new features and stuff but the update itself is not yet fully out but this stuff can be found within the game so i think that maybe there's not actually a way of i you gotta imagine the lily pad membranes would actually transform into that other stuff because it literally says a piece of lily pads waxy outer membrane useful for making waterproof equipment but then if y'all follow me to the rebreather over here with the lily pad wax there's not actually a way of crafting the ingredient so i think I think something might be wrong with this because even the wax itself says a nodule of wax collected from a flowering lily pad can be used as a strong waterproof bonding material. So it makes it seem like it'd be something that the membrane would go towards. Or it kind of looks like that, but doesn't exactly seem interested in harvesting and like i i maybe i'm misunderstanding what flowering means that looks like a flowering lily pad to me that's is that not a flower kind sir i don't know is it like hidden within the middle of the flower like is there a another possible explanation for this hello lily pad oh this feels strange do you have what I seek? Yeah, no, it's not in the middle of the flower, as awesome as that would be. And for example, y'all can see over here the lily pad membrane. It literally says a piece of lily pad's waxy outer membrane useful for making waterproof equipment. And then the wax is a nodule of wax collected from flowering lily pad. So since that's the missing ingredient, we need to get the rebreather just for the sake of being able to continue the video and kind of continue checking out the preview of this update. Uh, bloop, we'll just go ahead and pick up that rebreather right there. And bloop. We don't need to toss it in our inventory. We actually got to toss it onto our face, right? Is that not the face thing? Face? Face? Do you not face? There we go. It's on our face. Now, if we actually go underwater, look at this. Look at how much slower our O2 actually goes down. Like, that's kind of incredible, dude. We actually can last significantly longer underwater now. And I am curious as well. Oh, another very interesting thing, right? The diving knife is actually one of the, like, you can't actually use, by the looks of it, normal weapons underwater. Oh, so that's where the diving knife becomes even more useful. And what is that thing over there? That looks interesting. What is that? Is that the diving bell spider? It doesn't look like a spider, but it looks like something going up and down like a little goofball. Looks spidery, maybe? Oh, dude, I just, I, the, my own knife on the right hand of my screen just scared the bejesus out of me. I'm a weenie, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I've, I've looked around on a few of these lily pads, and also, don't forget to hit that like button, y'all, because if you do not hit the like button, uh, your lily pads will look like this. They will not look like these glorious, fresh, unravaged by your local star snipe lily pads. They will look like these ravaged lily pads if you do not hit the like button, so make sure to hit it. I'm just saying this for your own safety. I want to make, I'm looking out for y'all's lily pads because lily pads, let's be honest, are the secret to happiness, right? Yeah, totally, 100%. And like, over here, we got some of these similar looking nodules that again, I do just want to showcase is like you, you can't harvest them they look waxy but like when you hit them if i get lucky i just get more membrane out of them so i i think that there may be some sort of a glitch going on with that and again it is a work in progress now the question is i gotta drink some water calm down sir we got more important things to worry about what incarnation is that thing oh my god it's using its little arms this thing is terrifying hey buddy what in what in the truck are you well he doesn't appear to have a name at the moment but uh that was the water boatman okay and he liked being down here i can't harvest whatever that is but it looked like he was collecting whatever's down there so it looks like we just found the water boatman okay okay now that is a little bit of an interesting development because that actually drops the water boatman fin a fin harvested from the wing cover of a water boatman broad flat and possibly edible I don't know if I want to eat that, dude. That's definitely looking a little bit on the suspicious side. Although it does appear that it can actually be used in boatman fin soup. So, okay, fun facts all around. But more importantly, it looks like this part of the ecosystem, kind of like some of these beginner type water enemies actually kind of lead into other things. So for example, they're really good for getting your kind of starter equipment that you can then utilize for better kind of like underwater maneuvering, like the rebreather and over here, 
the flippers, which can actually increase our swim speed. However, we need eelgrass strands, which uh, are a long piece of hydrophobic eelgrass material can help bind things that need to be used underwater. So I'm going to keep my eyes and ears peeled for eelgrass. Could that be this grass over here? Maybe. I'm, I have not tried harvesting any grass yet. It does not appear to be doing the trick. It looks grassy. I will definitely continue looking around, though. I want to get to the bottom of what Intarnation Eelgrass is. To all of y'all hardcore Eelgrass fans out there, I apologize that I am a, a Eelgrass noob. And I do not understand the intricacies and just complexities of the grass of the eel. But, uh, yeah. I just don't know much about Eelgrass. Like, this ain't seaweed, that's for sure, right? Like, it makes a noise when we hit it, which has, like, a little bit promising, and our O2 is running out. Okay, so we might want to start surfacing a little bit over here, but, dude, this is going to be such a cool freaking update. And the fact that they have this in the files with, like, a whole kind of, like, standalone development world, because this is actually separate from our survival series as a heads up. So do not worry. This is not, like, all of the, all of the stuff that we're doing over here does not interfere with, uh, ooh, a lug. It's not gonna interfere with our series that is going on through, for example, that playlist at the top of the description. So no need to fret those shenanigans. I mean, when this update fully comes out, we'll be checking it out. But like, I would never want to freaking spawn in an item for an actual series. That's freaking like, that's not cool, dude. But for the sake of exploring this preview of the update, oh, how convenient. Some flippers that I cannot pick up because, okay, I'm just gonna pretend I use that boatman fin to craft up those flippers. Look at the flippers doing flipper things over there. Let's go ahead and equip those things. And this should make us significantly faster underwater. Oh, mama, I feel like Lightning McQueen. I'm the Lightning McQueen of the quad, quad the pond, baby. Ho -ho. That is nice. Yeah, like you guys can seriously tell the difference. Like, look at how fast we're moving right now. I'll go into third person to show that off. And then if I just go ahead and, for example, just unequip them, we start uh, significantly slowing down. So let's go ahead and make sure that we safe? equip that thing. And what are these things? Can we harvest this? Oh! Oh! So these things, hello, precious actually serve as ways that you can refuel your water underground and oh, leeches leeches and tadpoles you abominations those things oh my god they ah, i hate it i hate it and we're gonna go and kill some i'm gonna continue breathing underwater over here i do not however see the koi fish that we were previewing uh oh i do hear that science laboratory though okay so why don't we go let's get some let's get some air and then why don't we go and explore where we're supposed to be going this entire time and then I will kill some tad. Actually, I'm gonna attack a tadpole. What up, tadpole? Yeet! Yeah. Die, tadpole! Don't you dare tadpole away! Get back here! I need to kill you! It's for science! For science! Ah! Oh, you need to stop fluttering away. Do not do this, comrade. Not very cool. Okay, we got him cornered. Ha ha ha! You stupid tadpole! Oh no! Whoa, he's innovating! He is it. Oh, okay. Well, I lied. He was not cornered. That was a lie. Oh, oh my god. So apparently tadpoles are freaking uh, just benders of time and space. Come on. He's almost dead. Let me flip after you. Boom. And the tadpole has fallen. Hopefully he doesn't fall through the ground. No. Oh, he looks so sad. He looks so sad when he's dead. Uh, I will get rid of that strider leg over there just for the sake of clearing up some inventory room. What does the tadpole drop? Raw tadpole meat. Interesting. And those are just like some lily pad membranes. That's some stuff that we already had. What, what dropped here? What is that? Tadpole slime. Ooh. I would like some tadpole slime. Uh oh, that tadpole meat's poisonous. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, we need some air. Oh, the lily pad got on our way. Get out the way, lily pad. I need that air. I need that air, baby. Beautiful. We got the air. So okay. Tadpole slime. Usable as lubricant for equipment. Oh my. Why do we need lube? About to get saucy up in here. Oh, oh. Speaking of things that we can craft, uh, we are still going to keep our eyes peeled for that eelgrass. I currently have not been able to find anything that actually drops it, but there is the next step up in equipment. Instead of a rebreather, an actual diving mask, which I imagine gets you more air than the rebreather. And with the help of cattail fluff, we should be able to craft that. And given the fact that that looks like an underwater laboratory, you got to assume it's going to be like flooded or something. So let's see if we can't collect some of this... Uh, freaking cattail stuff over here it, i mean it does not appear to be getting like chopped down i cannot use my axe underwater which is definitely a bummer but there there's like cattail fluff up there so i oh hello spiders how you doing 
you gotta imagine that this is gonna be the secret and how we're gonna be able to actually harvest cattails. That is cattail that I'm thinking of, right? I'm not getting that confused with something else. I don't think so. Why don't we swim around though and explore some of this underwater area now that it's getting some love. Oh, what is this thing? Could that be what I was? No, that's just the same kind of like wax looking thing that's not actually wax. Because again, it just does not let you harvest it. Talk about poopy. Anyways though, boys and girls, let's go and make our way down. Oh, there's that spider! There's the spider! It looks like it's trying to hunt down that freaking poor water thing. Oh my god! There's the diving bell spider! All right, now the important question, just how tough are you, diving bell spider? Oh, it looks like we knocked out half of its health with one swing. Make that to sayonara. Where'd your dead body go? There you are, and we pick it up, and it looks like we picked up some spider venom and a diving bell spider silk. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my actual silk over here and give me that diving bell item. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. and another new enemy has been encountered. Let's take a breather over here on the land or just I'll just kind of chill here just so we don't freaking drown or anything like that. Uh, what is it? So spider silk. Why don't we go? I want to inspect that thing. So we can see that it is going to be used in the koi scale helmet. I also have not seen the koi fish, which I imagine is going to be a massive fish that's swimming around the pond. We messed around with it in another preview video that we did, and it looks like it's not actually going to be killable. But if you hit it, it will actually drop some of its scales, which will probably help us get the koi scale helmet. We just saw the diving mask and how to get that and just more eelgrass strands and lily pad wax. So the more kind of animals and underwater life that you interact with, the closer you will get to kind of these upper tiers of the armors and whatnot. And this is, oh, also useful in the bone diving knife. We saw how to get strider legs. We just saw how to get diving bell spider silk, but bones are still a mystery, which is a splinter of a bone harvested from the remains of a dead fish. And I imagine the only kind of fish that we really know of is the koi fish, but we still don't know exactly how we're going to be able to get that, or bone. Because it did not seem like the koi fish was killable back when we were experimenting around with it. But that is, of course, subject to change. This is all a preview. However, the good news is, is that we can use lily pad membranes in the crafting of underwater lanterns. However, we need bioluminescent goop. And that is going to come from fireflies. So it looks like fireflies may actually be coming in this update as well. And I imagine that that underwater lantern would help us see underwater, especially if things do decide to get darker. So for the sake of science, we'll go ahead and grab that, put it into our five inventory slot. And it looks like you can actually have it equipped in addition to something like a diving knife. So that's going to be big, but let's go. Let's dive underwater and let's see what incarnation is in oh this is secret looking hole over here well hot diggity dog oh my god it's a t-rex what's attacking me something is very mad down here and i'm not entirely sure what i hear combat music oh the leeches so it looks like leeches might be something we have to deal with get over your leech die leech die get back here eh. uh, again this is a little bit oh man it looks like leeches are gonna be pretty tough it's gonna take what five hits from our knife before we can take it down. We're at three right now. Oh, it's got leech brethren. And this entire time our oxygen is going down, making for this to be a very interesting battle. Oh my God, dude, look at that though. The freaking T-Rex right there. <laughs> the T-Rex entrance and oh, what is that over there? This is a whole underwater cavern. There's so many leeches that I'm gonna kind of go ahead and ignore for the time being. I might go and try to get some more air because I think we might need some, and there's nothing down here for us to collect. So what I'm gonna do is get that air. Ah, gonna get the air. And then we're gonna go and explore the rest of the wear in tarnation. That stuff looks like it leads to. So let's breathe through this beautiful little ball. Thank you, ball of life, for being my ball of life. And back down here we go. Where it looks like leeches, as we're seeing up ahead, are gonna be a pretty big part of uh dude i just can't get over this t-rex that is freaking sick but the leeches are going to be a pretty big part of things okay it's actually we don't need that lantern yet it is still pretty clear i just want to get a good look at that freaking t-rex dude that thing's sick okay i digress and again having upgraded gear i imagine will help you get to the depths of this lab significantly easier because uh well with a better gear comes better ability to breathe what is this oh my god it's so bright <laughs> what is happening I'm hearing the beep boops, though. That's a good sign. We got something. What is that? Open? What does that do? I just opened something. I don't know what I just did. But it... 
looks like there's going to be some sort of a strange puzzle that you might be able to do here. Oh my. With like these switches that you can open, where are we exactly trying to get to? None of them appear like they want to open, but oh, oh. Does this actually open? Are we going to be able to get some air? Air breathe. Oh, oh. And we are in the lab entrance. And it is pretty glitchy of a lab because it wants us to slurp this entire time. Okay, before we explore the rest of this, I want to check out the rest of what's down here. Because we can still go a little bit this way. Does this lead to anything? This isn't where we came from, right? No, I don't think so. Where is it? I am getting topsy-turvy around right now, brother. Not what I'm looking for. If the T-Rex is up ahead, we definitely got turned around. That is a bona fide T-Rex. We got turned around. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Dude, I just love this freaking world though, where like it's actually playable stuff. Like it, it, it's so cool, such, such cool. Much wow. It's so cool to actually get like a live preview of what to expect and sure a few of the cogs and pieces are kind of still missing, but like for the most part, a lot of what you're gonna be looking for is here, which is such a cool thing, including these leeches, which uh, at least do not appear to be attacking us yet, but I imagine that those are going to be pretty painful and, I mean, battling them is going to be a big part of getting to this underground lab or underwater lab because uh, it does not appear they're going to be able to get past these leeches without them realizing you exist. And that's kind of a bad thing. Oh, no, no, no. What? No, no, no. Let me get... Let me up. Ah! Dude, I'm trying to go up. Oh, no. Is the... Do we got to reopen that? Oh, no, I just went through the entirely wrong one. Ah, we're going to go. <laughs> oh, oh, I was going to panic there for a second. So I wonder if we can interact with anything down here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to have some fun. Let's explore and see what is down in the depths of this glitchy work in progress place. Looks like a lot of computers, hopefully waterproofed. Flasks on the wall. Where we just came from, so we did a little bit of a loop-de-loop, -loop, nothing too crazy. Uh, let's equip our lantern back. Oh, beautiful. We can actually see what's going on now. I'd love to see it. But I can't exactly comprehend what's going on. Okay, I can't see what's in there. That looks like something being studied. Is that the eelgrass that I want? Maybe, maybe. All right, onwards we go. We still got to trigger the switch to power up the underwater lab dome. Dude, we got to power this place up? Okay, well, that goes upstairs. I want to finish exploring the ground floor, if that's an option. Where does this go to? Uh, oh, uh, duh. <laughs> an observation deck. So you can actually see what's going on below you, dude. Grounded is going to have some sick updates. Because, like, the fact that all this stuff is in the game, it makes me think that this is going to be the update that we can expect at the end of this month on August 27th. And that's such a crazy sign that already our first monthly content update is going to be something of this caliber. That bodes really, really well for the future of Grounded, dude. All right, let's go on to the second floor. What do we have over here? It appears like another Those level. look like idealized geometric shapes in that paint thing. They do. They can't Big brain. Real. Well, they are. So too bad. What you going to do, son? That door is unfortunately locked. Can't do nothing about that. Big buttons. I can't press the buttons. Hmm. I mean, nothing that we can pick up yet. What appears to be a nuclear missile they're working on. Okay, okay. I like this. is an interesting lab. I think that about does it for the first floor here. Let's go up to the second. I think we can really interact with yet at the moment. Dude, look at this dome. Oh, my God. How do we power this thing up? I imagine it's up there. Okay, well... Ladies and gentlemen, may I welcome you to our freshly powered up underwater dome! Oh, 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 oh. oh, what is that noise? I gotta reset the three underwater power breakers. Oh, I saw those things. So it looks like things are not actually powered up yet. Let's parkour out of here a little bit. I wanna power this place up. I'm gonna drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. I'm gonna go drive the boat. So I do know the power breakers that they're talking about. That's what we were messing around with a little bit earlier. So we gotta go here and bloop. That will reset them one by one. There we got the second one and the third one over here. Again, in the full version of this update, you're gonna have to worry about these leeches and stuff, making it significantly more intense. And bloop. 
and this this oh dude this is how we get to repower look at look at that quest in the top left corner re-trigger the switch to reroute power to the oak tree lab so you know the lab that freaking imploded when we uh did the stuff with the science machine this i am like very confident this is going to be the update that comes at the end of the month now because it's literally a continuation of the story it's directly addressing where we left off in the story and adding all this water stuff oh ho, 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 ho. let's go and hit this switch baby let's do it like drake i just flipped the switch flip flip and the pond lab something's going on i'm not entirely sure what's happening something big just happened there's an earthquake here but that's all that there was and the quest is to now complete i wonder if that did something over at the oak tree lab Ooh, and this is a room that i don't think i stumbled into quite yet uh it's got this little underwater compartment which leads us to a secondary exit oh that's awesome and there we can actually see the dome itself and if we emerge from the water here we are up above and there's the oak tree also i'm not gonna lie this lantern is very very nifty for actually kind of like seeing what's going on i am a pretty big fan of that but okie dokie ladies and gentlemen with that said and with that done i think that's a pretty good point for us to end off our initial look into this preview of things when we return if there is something that has changed in the oak tree we're gonna go and investigate it if not there probably won't be a next video but if there is we will investigate what potentially cleaning up this kind of quest line has accomplished and i am excited to see where this does branch off into. So hopefully boys and girls did enjoy this preview. This has me so excited for the full update to come to the game. Again, I believe it is gonna be coming August 27th. So keep your eyes peeled for that. When the update itself does come out, we'll be checking it out. So no need to worry your stress about that. But with that said, with that done, I think that is a pretty good point for us to go ahead and start ending off this episode of Grounded. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.